Hello, sports fans, and welcome to Scott Sports 101 NFL Football Sunday, Week 11, uh, Early Late Games Recap Show and Sunday Night Football uh, uh, Update Show. I'll give you an update in just a moment with that. Uh, but first, uh, uh, here is today's Scott Sports 101, Week 11, uh, NFL Football Trivia Question. It's a Browns trivia question, not as an alternate. Which two Browns made the Pro Bowl in 2007? I will have the answer later in the podcast. Well, it's a win. It was ugly, but it's a win. It was not pretty either. Uh, with the, uh, the Browns beat the Lions by the final score, they hold out the winless Lions 13-10, to and Nick Chubb had a tremendous day running for 130 yards with 22 carries and attempts. Uh, with the game's outcome in doubt and Cleveland's season in serious danger, the Browns turned to their most reliable player, and none other than... Nick Chubb, who had a tremendous day and came through as always. We needed him. He showed up, said Browns cornerback Denzel Ward. Chubb caught a touchdown pass, rushed for 130 yards, and helped run out the clock as the Browns held on to avoid a season-wrecking upset and keep Detroit winless with a sloppy 13-10 victory over the Lions today at First Energy Stadium. Chubb returned to Cleveland's lineup after a one-game absence due to COVID-19. The star running back had a five-yard TD Reception from Baker Mayfield, and then helped uh, the Browns, uh, who are now six and five, put away the Lions, who are, remain winless at 0-9 and one. Uh, leading by three, the Browns got the ball back with 2:29 left as the First Energy Stadium crowd chanted "Chub Chub" before every snap. Coach Kevin Stefanski had Mayfield hand off hand hand the ball off to one of the NFL's best backs. Chub uh, ripped off. Run- Runs of 3, 4, 11, and 15 yards to ice it. Chubb was, everyone was chanting Chubb's name at the end. Brown star defensive end Miles Garrett said, I was definitely cheering for my guy. Uh, wide receiver Jarvis Landry scored as the Browns barely bounced back after being blown out by 38 points, 45-7 to last week uh, at New England. Lions, are, uh, who are 0-9-1, couldn't build up any momentum from their 16-16 tie a week ago in Pittsburgh and made some uh, crucial mistakes while growing their winless streak to 14 games. They are the league's only winless team uh, in the NFL right now. Nobody likes to lose, said Lions running back DeAndre Swift, who finished with a career-high 136 yards. We want to win, so it's frustrating. Swift broke off a 50 50- <clears throat> Seven-yard TD run in the second half uh, to keep the Lions close. Uh, kicker uh, uh, Aldrick Rosa Rosas made a 43-yard field goal in the fourth to pull Detroit within 13 to 10. However, the Lions' offense uh, couldn't come up with the one big play, and Coach Dan Campbell decided to punt with 2:36 left, denying his team a last chance. Uh, I thought we'd get the ball back. Uh, Campbell said, I'm sure there are people who consider me too conservative, but you've got to be careful and you've got to be smart. We're trying to win games 14 to 13 or 16 to 13. Lions play without starting quarterback Jared Goff, who injured his uh, obliquee against the Steelers. Tim Boyle finished with 15 of 23 for 77 yards with two interceptions in his first NFL start. Mayfield was limited in practice this week with shoulder, foot, and knee injuries, and said he's <coughs> more beat up than at any point in his career. He threw a first-half interception and had other issues in wet conditions before connecting with Chubb late in the second quarter. Mayfield finished 15-29 uh, of 29 for 176 yards and two interceptions. With the game, uh, When the game ended, Mayfield pulled up his helmet and headed straight to the locker room without shaking hands with any teammates or Lions players. An unusual reaction following a tough win. Mayfield declined to speak with reporters following the game for the first time in his four seasons with Cleveland. Landry's 16-yard scoring run came on uh, a gadget formation to open the second quarter. The Browns were determined to get Landry more touches, and the sure-handed receiver moved behind center with Mayfield shifting right. Landry took the snap, rolled left, to throw back to his right with nobody open, Landry tucked the ball uh, and sprinted up the middle to for his second rushing touchdown of the season. Uh, the Browns took a two-touchdown lead late in the first half with help from the Lions who committed three penalties. 
two by cornerback Amare uh, or Ryu Warai on a, a 76 yard scoring drive capped by Chubb's uh, touchdown. Boyle came in with just four career pass attempts, golfed in practice this week as his status remains uncertain for Thursday's Thanksgiving Turkey Day game against the Chicago Bears. Well, Mayfield, it was messy Mayfield day. Mayfield had just, it was a mess today. The weather conditions mainly were a mess. The weather conditions were hardly uh, optimal, but Mayfield was off, off the target, and he struggled on some throws he probably should have completed. There was more than a smattering of boos after his second uh, uh, pick early in the fourth quarter following a third down in completion. Baker has done a really good job at taking care of the football uh, in terms of interceptions, and he knows uh, that, that we do not want to give them anything, Stefanski said. Uh, I'm sure he's frustrated with those, but he has done a nice job this season. Now, so there's been some kicking in crisis. The Lions intended to use kicker Riley Patterson signed earlier this week off New England's practice squad. However, he was inactive, and Rosas, Rosas, a pro bowler in 2018 with the New York Giants, made his field goal an extra point, uh, an extra point. And early this week, Detroit released Ryan uh, Santoso, who missed uh, two, two kicks, including a potential game winner against the Steelers. The Lions uh, have been juggling kickers since training camp. Regular kicker Austin Siebert is on injury reserve with a hip uh, issue. And the Lions had a, a, B, a, a handful of injuries. Uh, Deshaun, he, uh, he had a hand groin uh, and got hurt in the third quarter. Evan uh, Brown left several plays on specific injury. And the, uh, and Hello uh, and Hella pull uh, Viette uh, Verda went out with a concussion in the second quarter. Rams Landry uh, Jarvis Landry appeared to uh, to uh, aggravate the left uh, knee uh, that landed him on injured reserve. And linebacker Jeremiah uh, Awushu uh, Kormoa uh, went out in the second half with a left ankle injury. Now, as I said, the Lions will host the. Chicago Bears and their traditional Turkey Day game on Thanksgiving Day. And the Browns travel to Baltimore for Sunday Night Football next week to take on the Ravens in the first of two games in three weeks in the AFC North, leading Ravens. So the Browns play on Sunday Night Football next week against the Ravens. And uh, this was one of those games where... Now, the Browns were up 13-0, uh, as I said, until the fourth quarter. That's when, they, when the Lions... We're able to get back in the game. The Lions came so close to trying to get their first win of the season, as I said, but they were not able to do it because the Browns managed to hold to hold down the Detroit Lions and get the win by the final score of 13 to 10. It was a hard five win. It wasn't pretty, but it was a win. As the Browns go to six and five on the season, and the Lions remain winless, they go to 0-9 and one. Uh, <clears throat> we'll get to the picks of the week and. Uh, uh, all, all of today's action in just a moment. Uh, but first, it's time right now to reveal the answer to today's Scott Sports 101 NFL Football Week 11 uh, trivia question. And it was a Browns trivia question. Question. Not as an alternate, which two Browns made the Pro Bowl in 2007? And if you said Braylon Edwards and Joshua Cribbs, you are correct. Braylon Edwards recorded 16 touchdowns, while Josh Cribbs primarily made the Pro Bowl based on his unbelievable Punt and kickoff returns. I will have another trivia question on my next podcast, which will be for my Monday Night Football podcast. And so stay tuned for that. That'll be tomorrow. Uh, getting into the picks of the week now, we're going to go back to the Thursday Night Football game. Well, actually, before that, let me give the out the Browns game balls today. The Browns get the game balls today before I get to that. Baker Mayfield, uh, 15 of 29. Uh, Kyrus attempts 170, 176 yards. One touchdown, two, two uh, interceptions. Nick Chubb, 22 carries and attempts, 130 yards. Uh, did not score a touchdown. Actually, did score a touchdown. And one touchdown. And Austin Hooper, uh, four receptions, 53 yards. So, uh, now to, get, to give you the updates from the uh, today's action. Now we're getting with the Thursday night game. The Patriots shut out the... Uh, uh, the Atlanta Falcons, 25 to nothing. Mac Jones had a historic night. He made NFL rookie quarterback history. 
And it was just, isn't that the, uh, it was just a one-sided game between the Patriots and the Falcons. And my brother-in-law and I both took New England. We both won in that one. The Philadelphia Eagles beat the New Orleans Saints at, uh, at Lincoln Financial Field in Philly. And that Falcons-Patriots game was at Mercedes Benz Stadium in Atlanta. I should, should have mentioned that, and I didn't. I, but I just did now. But at Lincoln Financial Stadium in Philly today, 40-29, it was the Eagles over the Saints. And my brother-in-law in line took, Philadelphia, took uh, New Orleans. We both lost on that one. The Miami Dolphins beat the New York Jets 24-17 by a touchdown at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. The Jets had a chance, but they just could not get over that hurdle. And my brother and I both took uh, Miami in that one. We both won. Uh, the uh, Washington football team upset the, the uh, Carolina Panthers 27-21 at Bank of America Stadium in uh, North Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina, and uh, and uh, <clears throat> the pan- uh, Cam Newton ha- had a decent day, but in his uh, debut as he resigned with the Panthers earlier this week, but he had chances, but they they couldn't capitalize on it and just could not get over that hurdle. And my brother, brother and I, we both took Carolina and lost on that one. So, and the uh, Indianapolis Colts manhandled. The Buffalo Bills at Bills Stadium today in Buffalo, 41 to 15. Josh Allen and the Bills just did nothing right in this game today, and it was all Colts in this one. This is just a lopsided game between the Bills and the Colts. You know the Browns won 13 to 10 in a hard-fought victory, and my brother and I took Buffalo. We lost on that one. We took the Browns and won on this one. Uh, the uh, San Francisco 49ers beat the. Jacksonville Jaguars, they manhandled them 30 to 10 and never been field in Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville continues to struggle offensively and defensively, and the 49ers, they just are, uh, I, think it, I think it's a three game win streak, check if I'm wrong. And uh, my brother in law and I both took San Francisco, and we both won on that one. The Tennessee Titans beat the, I mean, the Houston Texans upset the Tennessee Titans 22 to 13 at Nissan Stadium in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. My brother and I took both took Houston. We we both lost on that one. Actually, both took Tennessee and lost on that one. Excuse me. Uh, and the Titans had a chance. They just couldn't do it. So it, it's my I tip my hat to the Texans. The Minnesota Vikings beat the Green Bay Packers at US Bank at US Bank Stadium in Minnesota. The Packers had a chance. They just couldn't do it. And I just was I I had the Packers and so did my brother in law. We both lost on that one. I thought the Packers would get the win. How wrong I was. The uh, Baltimore Ravens came back with 2.29 left in the uh, fourth quarter to beat the uh, Chicago Bears at Soldier Field at 16 to 13. And when my brother and I, my brother in law Eric Coyle and I both took the Ravens and won on that one. And so, uh, but and uh, Chicago just they could not, they couldn't hold that lead, and Baltimore gets the win. And the Cincinnati Bengals all over the LA, the uh, Las Vegas Raiders at Elijah Stadium in Las Vegas, 32 to 13. And uh, I took the Bengals. My brother, my brother-in-law took the uh, Raiders. That was the only game we didn't agree on, and I won on that one. My brother-in-law and I, my brother-in-law lost on that one. <clears throat> the uh, uh, Arizona Cardinals beat the Seattle Seahawks, 23 to 13 at Lumen Field in Seattle today. And Seattle, Washington, and uh, Arizona goes eight and two on the season, and uh, Seattle just continues to struggle. And uh, it was just not a good day. They had their chances and just couldn't do it. The, and the Kansas City Chiefs beat the Dallas Cowboys nineteen to nine at Arrowhead Stadium in KC, and Dallas just struggled offensively and defensively, and they were limit, limited to a touchdown and a field goal. So, and uh, right now they're at the two minute warning in the fourth quarter. And at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, and the uh, the uh, L.A. Chargers are beating the Pittsburgh Steelers by four, forty-one to thirty-seven. It's close. It's second to ten, and Pittsburgh's got the ball. So let's see if the Chargers can hold on and get the win in this one. And the Browns will travel to Baltimore next week to uh, face the Baltimore Ravens. I am eight and five on my picks. My brother lost seven to six right now. 
We'll see what the Browns do next week. Always remember, be a team player each and every day and every way possible. So long, everybody. I'll see you after Sunday Night Football for the postgame show. 3-2-1. I'm done.